There's a live um, event ongoing at the police headquarters, um, the Guard of Honor, for the outgoing Chief of Defense Staff. We can um, link our, our viewers to that program as, as, an, as of now. Good morning. The celebrant, the IGP, all protocols observed. It is with mixed feelings and emotions as I stand here to give brief remarks. Collaborating, as the earlier speakers have said, with DRS, we all know what is happening in the north in terms of the security agencies doing our best to stop infiltration into the country by jihadists. On numerous occasions, when our officers and men have had challenges in terms of injuries, critical medical condition, I'll call on the CDS, and with the speed of light, alacrity, will come to our assistance. When I'm not available, my Deputy Controller General in charge of operations, Mr. Lord Afifa, will take over the mantle. And by this effort, I save the lives of a lot of our officers. The CDS will make sure that our officers airlifted, taken well off at the 37 military hospital. What again can I say? We are like brothers from the same father and mother. And I believe this relationship will go on as CDS ends its tour of duty as the head of the Ghana Armed Forces. In fact, this cordial, good, collaborative working relationship has turned into a fruitful marriage between the personnel of the Ghana Armed Forces and the Ghana Immigration Service. And I believe it is not only immigration service, but the other security agencies. But for now, I'll speak for immigration. And these marriages, as you know, has turned into a family matter. So we become like more or less like a family. And the greatest respect to CDS and the IG and other service heads here. We all know that GIS will have beautiful ladies. In fact, as I stand here, I always say I'm a proud banda. Unfortunately, I'm being supported by two old bandas. The deputy, sorry, the director general of prisons, Mr. Isaac Ajiri, and Alaji Seydou, head of customs. In fact, myself and Seydou, we were mates at the Banda City. I'm proud to say that we were part of the charismatic Banda choir. <laughs> so I know what I'm talking about in terms of relationship between the Ghana forces and Ghana Media Service and our beautiful ladies. As we say, a soldier does and not retire. I want to pledge myself and the officers and men of GIS that we continue to rely on the experience of the going CDS. In fact, we live, we live closer to each other at Roman 
uh, rich, and I believe that relationship will still continue. On behalf of the GIS management members, on my own behalf, I say God bless that going CDS, long life, prosperity. And I know with I'm a gender activist, and I know with the other commander-in-chief at home, the governor at home, with the president at home, and you know what I'm talking about, everything will be all right, like Bob Marley said. CDS, God bless you. Thank you very much. God, God, sing. Thank you very much. Standard Ice. May I now humbly invite Commissioner of Customs, Alaji Seydu Idrisu Idisa, for his comments, please. Please let's receive Alaji with a clap. CBS. Oh, he sold it, it's tedious. Inspector General of Police, fellow service commanders, management of all the security service here present, officers, the press. If you are a last speaker, you will take the advantage of all what has been said, especially when what has been said run through all. The CDS, throughout his various uh, appointments, have always been an influence on all the other security services. Was very positive influence. And for us, and for us at the Customs Division of the Ghana Revenue Authority, we have been greatly mentored by the Army. And he has personally played a very big role. He has also mentored all the other security services, as the IGP said. And he has seen to it that the coordination that we need at any one time, he, I mean, is always there. I remember some three months ago, uh, I think that was November, when we had some intel of some contraband goods that were located around the war zone in the north. When we had the intel, we were actually very scared because when you go there to, to take action, you may be attacked by the, I mean, the re residents of the place. So we got in touch with the army and together we did a very quick and successful operations there and were able to pick about five trucks loaded with the goods and brought them to safety in Tamale. This is just an example of how the coordination with other security services have been working to make sure that Ghana is safe from all what is happening around us. We have also worked closely together at the Joint Intelligence Service Center and he's one of those who don't talk much but when he is talking, everybody listens. We are happy that on this occasion, and I would like to thank the IGP for organizing this. For the CDS, it was a surprise. When he entered and we were all seated, he said, oh, what a surprise. But then, that is the show in the Ghanaian or African parlance, all your activities are marked by family members. It's not you who do, who do it from your birth, through your marriage, to even uh, death, it is family members who organize it, not you yourself. And we have gathered here just to express our profound gratitude and happiness that he has served successfully Mother Ghana, and he's about to hand over the baton to somebody else. We say in my language that a sojourn does not, will never pass by a virus without entering there to find out what is happening. 
and I know that you are holding hand over the position, but you, you remain a, a military person and a military officer to be mother Ghana for the rest of your life. Thank you so much, and may I thank the IGP for organizing this occasion. Thank you. Guys, go see. grateful commanders, the Inspector General of Police, the Director General of Prisons, the Chief Fire Officer, the Controller General of Immigration, and the Commissioner Customs, thank you very much. It's now time for a presentation. The Chief of Defense Staff, Vice Admiral Seth Amwama, to kindly join the team. Thank you very much, sir. Citation of Anna, presented to Vice Admiral Seth Amwama, the Chief of Defense Staff, on the occasion of your retirement. In recognition of your exemplary leadership, in advocacy and promotion of partnership with the Ghana Police Service and all other security agencies, the Ghana Police Service and all other security agencies, including the Ghana Prison Service, the Ghana National Fire Service, the Ghana Immigration Service, and the Customs Division of the Ghana We cross over back to the police headquarters where a guard of honor is being done for the outgoing CDS. I specially recognize the Director General of Prisons, the Chief Fire Officer, the Commissioner Customs Division of Ghana Revenue Authority, and You know, sometimes you forget your own brother. <laughs> when, when you are so excited. And so I want to recognize the Controller General of Ghana Immigration Service. I almost forgot about him because of the offer to give me a retirement wife. <laughs> Members of the Police Management Board, in fact, all of them are my brothers and sisters, and they are there's a tallest, so I cannot mention all of them, but I'm grateful to all of them. Members of my family who are present. And I especially recognize my brother, Dr. Philip Wabin, and the wife who are here. The gallant officers 
men and women of the Ghana Police Service and the management of the various security services who are here, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. That's better. I first of all want to give glory and thanks to the Almighty God for seeing me through this long and difficult but quite remarkable journey of over four decades and seeing me through a successful end. I also want to thank His Excellency Nana Adudankwa Ekufuado, the President and Commander in Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, for the confidence and trust he reposed in me in appointing me as the Chief of Defense Staff three years ago to lead the Ghana Armed Forces. In the sequence of appreciation, I want to thank the IGP especially for organizing this ceremony, and as I said, one of its kind in the history of the security services. It hasn't happened before. And I thank all the heads of the security agencies and everybody who is here for gracing this wonderful occasion. I want to observe that I have enjoyed every aspect of my long career which spans over 42 years. And in the last three years, I've enjoyed the maximum collaboration and cooperation among the security services. The level of cooperation has been amazing, despite some occasional isolated incidents among the men under our command. But even <coughs> on such occasions, the commanders came together quickly and resolved the issues, and we came back to normal to diffuse any tension among us. And so I want to use this occasion to express profound gratitude and appreciation to you all, my colleague heads of security agencies. As I leave or as I ground arms and retire in a few days, I live with very fond memories of our collaboration. The fact that all the security services had are here today and from the very kind words is expressed is a clear testimony of the unity of purpose among the security services. This is in sharp contrast to some occasional reports that we may read in the media about the rivalry amongst the security uh, services. We have worked together for 
many years, and in the last days, it has been exceptional. And so, as I end my service, I will implore all of you to extend the same cooperation to my successor, Major General Thomas Opon Pepra, who is taking over from me. I have every confidence in his astute transformational leadership ability. And I trust that he will take the level of cooperation from where I'm living and even grow it to a higher level. And finally, I want to thank my brother, the IGP, for his sterling leadership of the Ghana Police Service and for the honor done me on this occasion with this beautiful ceremony. I pray that the good Lord continues to guide him, to guide his steps as he charts a course to secure our nation and prevent the crime. I want to thank all of you for, for coming and may the good Lord bless us all and bless our nation Ghana and make us great and strong. I thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Vice Admiral Seth Amoma, for the remark. And in no time, the Guard Commander will sit the mission and march off the guard. Go! Guard Commander, Assistant Superintendent of Police, Ahmad Daku, marching briskly to seek permission from the outgoing Chief of Defense Staff to march off the ground. Your address, over. May I have your permission to march off the guard, sir? Please be upstanding for the general side.